this is a project to find out how much value is added to society and the economy by the availability of works, information, and artistic expressions in the public domain. It's important to, to study the public domain because um, uh, actually a lot of um, industries now are facing similar problems to companies which decide to use public domain inputs. Uh, for example, as uh, music became digitized and became more widely available for copying and downloading, uh, the music industry adapted new business models to meet the challenge of, of uh, reaching their, their, their customers. In a sense, with Napster, music became non-excludable. Uh, it was easy to trade and, 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 and distribute it online. So the kinds of challenges that these um, firms that we study face when using non-excludable public domain inputs are similar to challenges that are faced in other industries as well. Well, that was actually a, an interesting question, and, and we spent a lot of time thinking about what should be included in the public domain uh, for the purposes of our research. So just briefly, um, we included works where it was free and available for uptake by anybody, regardless of their context of the use, so commercial and non-commercial uptake, um, and where there was more or less a clear line about what, what, what could be used or not used. Uh, in our study, we looked at three different kinds of markets, if you like, for public domain material. We looked at uptake and adaptation of public domain works by creative companies in the UK. We looked at how the public domain gets used on Kickstarter, which is a crowdfunding platform. And we looked at uh, public domain images on Wikipedia and whether or not they increase visitorship to pages where public domain images are available. Well, uh, first of all, we found that um, the public domain is uh, widely used and, and used in a variety of different and unexpected uh, ways. Um, one of the most interesting findings, I think, is that the public domain work is often combined with other material, uh, which might be uh, the copyright of somebody else. So sometimes a third party license is obtained, and then that license work is, uh, is combined with, with public domain material. Um, in terms of the findings on Kickstarter, we found that uh, pitches, which incorporate public domain material, uh, do better. They're more likely to succeed than um, pitches where the work is uh, the original creation of, of the author, and we found that quite interesting. On Wikipedia, we found that um, the availability of public domain images uh, increases the traffic that those sub-pages on Wikipedia receive. So famous people of the past, where there's a public domain image of them, those pages receive more traffic than pages without images, uh, suggesting that public domain materials such as illustrations and photographs add a lot of value to Wikipedia. Well, I think that the, the results of the study point to a variety of different policy uh, outcomes or, or recommendations. So the, um, the uh, first, first finding is that firms uh, really were crying out for more access to public domain works. They uh, struggled to find high quality digital copies of public domain material that they could then take up and use in new innovative products. So we're talking about searchability, uh, centralized databases, and availability of work um, for, in terms of what, what firms need. Um, and, uh, you know, in broader, broader policy terms, I think it's just important that we introduce into policy debates the uh, value which is generated by having these repositories of open and freely available um, information and works.